The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying, and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Listening to R.A.P. Paranormal and Friends with your hosts, Kim Purvis and Allison Robinson. Make sure to check us out on our Facebook pages, R.E.P. Paranormal and Friends and R.E.P. Paranormal Busters, for up-to-date show information and events. Welcome to another night of REP Paranormal and Friends. I'm sorry it took us so long to get on tonight. I'm having some computer difficulties, but what's new, right? It wouldn't be us if we <laughs> didn't have computer difficulties. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, tonight, thought we're just going to talk a little bit about equipment, pros, cons, and anything in between tonight. Um, you know, there's a lot of um, new equipment out there. Um, you know, some might be good, some might not be as good. Um, also another thing, do you think using a lot of equipment hinders your actual experiences that you may be having, or do you think it helps? Um, those are some of the questions that we can kind of discuss tonight. Um, so for equipment... What's your favorite piece of equipment? My recorder. Yeah. I would say so too. My recorder. And um, basically I use all the other stuff, but my recorder. Yeah. I think the recorder I, is a good piece of equipment. And you don't have to go out and buy an expensive one. No. No. My, one of mine I got at Walmart. Oh, yeah. And the other one I bought at Best Buy. Right. Yep. Exactly. I don't go online and buy all these $100 recorders when it does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. There's no sense of spending irate money on a recorder when mm -hmm. yep. it works. Right. The cheap ones work. They do. Put it this way. We can put it in a room at uh, Farrar. Uh-huh. Like Miss Martin's room, and we could be down in the library, and it will pick our t our talking. Which it did because, um, when I was going through some of the old recordings, um, from one of our very first investigations at Farrar, I could hear you guys. You guys were upstairs in Miss Martin's room. It was you and Paige, and you left to go outside and I could still hear you guys. Yeah. So those record those cheap recorders work. Yeah. They pick up I was like, did they everything. really leave? Like it doesn't sound like they really went anywhere like and of course mo a lot of places you, you your voice are going to echo right. no matter how right loud you're going to talk. But these cheap recorders pick up everything. Yeah. And we've got a lot of good EVPs 
-hmm. there are cheap recorders. Right, exactly. There's not like some of these on Amazon and stuff are over a hundred to two hundred dollars. Why? Yeah. When the cheap ones work. Yep. I uh, yeah. I have one of the expensive ones. It the oh it was eighty nine dollars, but I've had it for a few years now because I lost my other one, so this is my third <laughs> recorder. <laughs> yeah, you're good at losing recorders. No, but I've got one of the it wasn't as expensive as yours, mm -hmm. but you can have here live time. Right. So which it's okay, but it fills up fast and if you don't get through your evidence then you're out of that recorder. Right, exactly. And then we found that your headphones that we use Yes. The what are they called? Um They're kinda like I don't know. I found them in the hunting part, but the you yeah know, you, you can hear everything. Thing. Yeah, they kind of enhance. It, it enhances everything around you, and mm -hmm. you can hear. It. And they will hook right up to a recorder. So right. what? There's your live time right there. Right. Yes. Exactly. So you can hook it up to a cheap recorder, mm -hmm. and still record what you're hearing. Exactly. Yep. So that was one thing that we found so, out. That's pretty cool. And they're not that expensive. No, they're not. I think I paid thirty dollars for those head those headphones. headphones on sale. They were originally and, like fifty, but still. But still, that ain't a bad price when you can record from them. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can hear everything that goes on around you. Right. Of course, you. So can, we know if you're talking bad about us if we have those on. So yeah, we we can hear everything. It, we it, can hear everything. It lightens up everything. It. Yep. You could. You could be whispering three rooms down and you're going to hear it. I could hear a cricket fart on those things, probably. I, I love those because, mm -hmm. like I said, it hooks right up to the recorder. Right. And you're going to catch whatever you're hearing live. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no more updates, no more anything. <laughs> um. And let's see. What else have we got in our arsenal? Well, there's a lot, but... Um, we're, we, we got the tripwire. We're not, we're still new at it. We mm -hmm. haven't got it all figured out. Right. Debunked or anything. Mm -hmm. The K2, you, you, you can't, you got to take that with a grain of salt. salt. Right. Exactly. Because you got to know your surroundings. You got to debunk Bunk. things as soon as it goes off. Mm -hmm. And we've had it go off on command. Right. But we find that at our dis our location that we don't say where we're at, mm -hmm. the furnace will turn it on. So right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you just never know what is causing that K two. So you can't really rely on it unless you have something else mm -hmm. backing that up. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then the. Ovulus, you take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. Because it's just random words. And yes. If, and if it comes out a word that we're not even asking. Right. Like, yeah. That doesn't make sense. Eh, just throw that one out a little bit. Right. Exactly. You just got to, you got to learn your equipment and you can't take everything as a grain of salt. Right. Because you got to, something happens. You gotta start debunking it. If you can't mm -hmm. debunk it, then right, go from there. But you mm -hmm. got to debunk your stuff. Exactly, exactly. You're not gonna be like it said. White. Oh, there's a white tablecloth here. What is that? What's what's with the white tablecloth? And you know all how they lead on to something. You know this is happening with all these words that they're putting on like some <coughs> shows you watch. How they lead you into something. I was like, this is freaking ridiculous. Like, it doesn't even make any <laughs> damn sense. But, yeah, just, you just gotta take, take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. But we have had names come up, and then we do, you know, kind of yeah. ask about the names. Then to see if it gets right. And nothing come, else comes up about that thing. Mm -hmm. So, we just put it to the side and go on. I did find it interesting, though, that one time when we were at Malvern, we were there with your cousins, and we were upstairs, uh, the, which one did I, 
Is it Tim that we go with a lot? Yeah, Tim would we go a lot with yeah. Steve. Yeah, and we were upstairs in Hank's room. Mm -hmm. And Tim had a beer in his hand. And we did ask what he was holding, and the ovulus did say beer. So that was, you know, kind of... You know, kind of relating. relating. Right. But it, it, sometimes it does, and sometimes it don't. Right. And just, mm -hmm. just like what, what, what went on. There was another word that came up, and it wasn't even what we were asking or talking about. Or about the place. I can't even remember what it was. Yeah, I don't remember. And it's like, whoa, well, that was out of the blue. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know, but... Some of those, yeah, some equipment, I'm just like, eh, we'll use it, but I'm not 100% on it. Um, I do, like I said, I do like my recorder, but yes, you do have to, you know, go through and really listen to it to make sure it's not somebody coughing, picking that didn't part, acknowledge it, it, or yeah, or, didn't say or that somebody did might be whispering that uh -huh. we tell them talk normal, but yeah. I've caught myself whispering too. Uh huh. It's like, I don't know why we all think that we're in the dark and we have to whisper. <laughs> I know. It, it's, I don't know why it is about being in the dark, but yeah, we do whisper a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. And we even tell the new people that go with us, you don't have to whisper, just talk normal. Right. And, and all of a sudden you listen to your recorder. Oops, somebody was whispering. Oh, that was that person. Oh, they're whispering too. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, I think what, what when we take new people and they whisper, mm -hmm. I think they don't realize it's going to pick it up. Yeah. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think they're trying to talk between themselves Selves. about what's going on. on. Right. And then all of a sudden I get these whispers. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I said, those recorders pick up everything. Yeah, they do. Yep. So there's that. And then um, well, we, we got have... the music box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've noticed with the music box, if you turn that a certain way mm -hmm. and there might be a chair or something, right. yeah, it's going to go off. off. Right. Or you put it up in the middle of a room. Mm -hmm. Could they have mice? You never know no. at some of these places. Right. Exactly. Could a mouse ran across that we didn't see? Mm -hmm. You just don't know. Right. Unless it goes off on command after you get it to go off. Right. Then you tell it to stop and then go again, and it does. Well, that's something different, right? But and and I noticed that a lot of times when it's in a location and it's really cold, yeah, it, it seems to malfunction. Act yeah, act. It doesn't like the cold. No, mm -mm. nothing likes the cold. Batteries don't even like the cold. You yeah. go through lots of batteries when it's cold. Yeah, I know, <coughs> for sure. Uh, let's see, my SLS we don't use much mm -mm. because he, like I said, you, you gotta, gotta debunk, debunk every little thing. You gotta check it out. You gotta. Mm -hmm. We have gotten some good stuff that right. interact with good you thing. when we right. tell it to, but there's times it could be a water heater. Right. It yeah. could be a broom in the corner. It's mapping out. Right. Exactly. So you just you got to sit there and debunk everything mm -hmm. yep once you get it all debunked mm -hmm. and then go from there then it's more it's just you gotta debunk it you gotta debunk what what could be causing that you know you're mm -hmm. always going around thinking what could be causing it you know? right right it's not fun but you gotta do it mm -hmm. exactly um, cat balls. We use the cat balls. We use the I cat do, balls. I do like those. I li I like using them too. Mm -hmm. Mine are all them. dead. I need to get new ones. Yeah, we need to get some new ones. Um, I wish they screwed apart so you could put new batteries in them instead of having to break them open to put new batteries in them. Yeah, that's dumb. Let's see what a. Oh, I I like trigger objects. Trigger objects are great. I like using trigger objects and then putting stuff like a cat ball on one of the trigger objects to see if it'll go off. Or the K2 might go off around it mm -hmm. after you've checked the whole room with the K2 and make sure nothing's going to interfere with it. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
I, I, I'm still hoping we get more with the etch a sketch. We've got oh. a couple things. Mm -hmm. It's been blank, and we've got on the big one we've gotten a T, where and then on the little one we did get an E, but that's right. about it so far. Mm -hmm. And the kinetic sand. One of these times, somebody's going to step in that sand. <laughs> so I know, right? Because <laughs> it's the only thing I can use. It's not messy. You can pick it back up, and one of these times, they'll play with it, maybe. Maybe. I'm still hoping. Hoping. I, I carry it everywhere I go. I know. And then whew, we take a bunch of toys. Depending on where we go and what era might be in that house, is I try to find toys of that era they mm -hmm. might have played with. Right. And candy and co, you know, Coke, cola. I take trigger objects like that. I never leave them in a place because you got places that don't have heat or air. Right. It's going to melt, so I never leave it in this place. I always pick it up and take it with me. I've been to places where people leave the candy and it's melted all over the oh, place and caused yeah. ants and everything else. And Right. Yeah, you got to clean that stuff up. You got to take it. I know you brought it for the spirits, but you still got to take it out of the building because a lot of these places don't have air and that heat just melts it mm -hmm. everywhere it, it sits. Yep. Then you're ruining property. Yep. I'm not going to mention the place where I found it, and it was melted all over the top of it, and mm -hmm. and it's like, why? Yep. Why leave it? Yes, you brought it for a coaxing the spirit, but take it with you. Yes, please. Because that's just not fun cleaning it up. It's not fun. Then it becomes kind of a mess. Then you've got ants and... And then you're drawing in the mice. Yep. And why why do this to somebody's property? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because I always take Tootsie Rolls for the kids, you know. It's right. Like, I take them out with me. It, or candy bars. They go with me. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's just like people going in a place and taking things because they wanted something haunted from the place. Yeah. Or, or or they destroy things or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's not your property. Nope. Respect it, please. Right. Otherwise, we're not going to have a place to investigate because people are destroying and stealing things. Yep. Exactly. And give the spirits respect that they deserve. Mm -hmm. Don't go in a place to provoke. Correct. There is times where you could not provoke mm -hmm. and piss them off, but just like like you got to get in the setting. Like like if you're in a jail, mm -hmm. are you going to go in? Hi, my name's Allison. Uh, uh, How are you, you know? Right, yeah, exactly. you you, you got to go in a little bit forceful there, mm -hmm. but not forcing the issue to provoking. Right. But, like, if you went to Melbourne or Edinburgh, you don't go in forcefully. Right. You know, you got to kind of get in the mindset, what, what are we dealing with? Mm -hmm. what was there you know you got to get in their mindset even though they were mentally challenged it's, some of them right but not all the spirits there are that way mm -hmm. but you just gotta and just like going to Granger house right you treat them like respect we usually go in well hello Dora how's the evening going and stuff like that you know we don't mm -hmm. go in saying you know, provoking her, or and you know, don't, don't, don't provoke Dora. No, 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 don't, no. yeah, you be nice to Dora, <laughs> right? Exactly, or she'll let you know, <laughs> right? 
right? But it, it depends on where you go and how you approach things. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and we, when we take new people, we try to show them how to respect this. Because you get a bunch in there that are thinking ghost adventurers, ghost mm -hmm. hunters, kindred spirits, destination. They think they're going to be like that where we're sitting here in a quiet room and nothing's happening and they can't figure out why. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because they, well, we watched all these shows before we came. Uh, get them out of your mind and forget them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's not going to be like that. Yep. Exactly. It's not. So. Because there could be some nights active all night long. Mm -hmm. Then there's some nights you might not get a single thing. Right. And that's just how it is. They're not going to come out on command. You can't force them to come They're out. They're not it's, puppets. They don't know you. Mm -hmm. And it's disrespectful to be that's going why. into their place and treat them like shit. It's disrespectful. Just like when we go to Granger House. We always try to introduce ourselves. We're right. here to visit Dora, you know, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. We explain it to her before we get started. Mm -hmm. Usually we have a pretty good night there. Yeah. I haven't gotten into too much trouble, even though with my potty mouth, which is shocking. No, I, I, if, we, if you guys start using your potty mouth, I'm usually go. I'm very sorry, Dora. They don't know what they're saying. Yeah. Just give them a good slap. They'll, they'll, they'll quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can slap me all you want. That's fine. No, Dora doesn't like cussing as much. No. That's true. So I'm usually going around, sorry, Dora. Sorry, Dora. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean to. Mm-hmm. Right. But what's the first thing that comes out of your mouth if you hear something or something happens? Right. <laughs> you know, you the cuss words start coming well, out. Yeah, because yeah, usually oh I'm like, oh my god. You yeah, know? usually I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, I can't help it. That's just how I am. I had a potty mouth like Sarah since I was very young. So, I can't help it. And that's just me. <laughs> and, and we'll see. What else do we got for trigger objects? Or our mannequin. We take our mannequin. mannequin. with the uniforms. It's got uniforms. It's got doctor outfits. Um, depending on where we go, how it dresses up. Right, exactly. And boy, do you get strange looks when it's in the center of the seat and looking out the window at people. Yeah. <laughs> sure do. Their heads turn clear around. I, I think some couple of times they were going to wreck because they were watching our mannequin. Yeah. <laughs> We have more fun with that mannequin. I know. Right? And we've used, we've got what they call a scream pad mm -hmm. from Halloween. Right. If you step on it, it screams. Mm -hmm. We haven't had it go off yet. Right. But at Melbourne, they've got a piano that you step on. Mm -hmm. We have had that go off. Yes. But we haven't had my scream pad go off. No. Not yet. Just when Josh stepped on it when we forgot it, but uh, yeah, oh my god, yeah, we forgot it at Melbourne Manor and Josh found it <laughs> for us. <laughs> we forgot we laid it there and Oops. he found it. Yep. Oops. <laughs> we got a message shortly after. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. And yeah. let's see what else have we used. We had your sketches. We mm -hmm. used the toys. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can get like barnyard animals and stuff at Dollar Tree or something cheap. Right. You don't have to spend expensive. Right. And we got our flashcards at Dollar Tree. Yeah. And we have that stuff. Mm -hmm. That comes with and ha that has worked. Yeah, we had that work at um, at Granger. Leslie and I were in yeah. that music room and she had her spirit box going and I asked like, what is this on the card? I was holding up a card, and it said dog. Yeah. I literally said it. It was like, dog. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, we've had several places that it has worked. Mm -hmm. And 
my wooden puzzles. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We we use and we ask the spirit. I'll pick up a piece, and whatever's working at the time. Let's see. Let's see. Woman's club where yeah. we went. Mm -hmm. The music box would go off when it wanted us to put it somewhere. Right. And I'd point at a section, and it wouldn't go off. And I'd point at the next one, and it would go off. So mm -hmm. I put the puzzle piece there because that's where it told us to do it. Right. And it was right three out of five. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it depends what right. we use and where we're at and mm -hmm. what spirits we're dealing with. Right. But the flashcards work great. Because mm -hmm. they're actually memory cards. You have two of each. And mm -hmm. and we tried that, too, and they, mm -hmm. they pulled them out right. Right. Because yeah. I flipped them over, and then I flipped them back over. Right. And they told us which ones to mm -hmm. turn over. Right. And our candles. Our candles, I love those. Mm -hmm. Because we never use them. We never turn them on. Mm -hmm. And they have come on on command, went off on command. Mm -hmm. And they have come on. And it takes forever Remember to just... turn them off because they're so tight. I know. That happened to me in Hank's room when I went up there by myself. And I was just up there talking and stuff, and all of a sudden, it came on, and then it went off, and I asked another question, it came back on, but then, like, I had to go turn it off, but it was on so damn tight, I'm like... Yeah, they, they don't realize it's getting turned, because we've had that happen at first. I, I've got about six of them. I'll take two with me that ask questions, because I have one with an orange light, right, and one with a clear light uh -huh. so i tell them which one i want to use for yes and which one for no but the others i'll just set around randomly mm -hmm. and we'll come back through and they're on yeah we caught one come on uh on your on your uh camera mm -hmm. down in the coal chute that one time nobody was down there and that it came on i watched it come on mm -hmm. and i'm going okay mm -hmm. right and we've had them come on at Melvern when we were sleeping. Mm -hmm. They're sitting over there oh, yeah. by themselves. And all of a sudden, we'll wake up and our candles are Yeah, off. I did that one morning. I woke up and I watched the candle come on. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I was having a full-on conversation. Like, it was like, you know, turn it on, off, on, off. I was like, okay. Oh, well, Camper House. I had them sitting up on the mantel. Mm, mm-hmm. And I'm looking for my flashlight because I have to go to the bathroom and oh, it's yeah. still dark out. And right, I yeah. want to wake nobody up. Yeah, I saw and it. And the candle came on. Yeah, I saw it come on because I, I like, could hear Ooh. you trying to get out of your sleeping bag. I'm trying to get on my sleeping bag trying to find my flashlight and they turned the candle on. Mm -hmm. We were at Velisca. Mm -hmm. I left the candle sit in, in the living room. Mm -hmm. I said, we're going to go out to eat, get something to eat, and we'll be right back. Can you turn on the candles so we have some light in here when, when we come back? It was probably a half hour or so, and we come back in and the light was on. Yep. So I like those candles. Mm-hmm. Right. Me too. Because they always say if you mess with your flashlight on and it's going to cool down. See, we never turn the candles on. No. Until they turn them on. Yeah. We no. We don't mess with the candles because they're... I don't mm -hmm. even twist them to see right. how far they are. I just yep. set them down and let them do what they got to do. Right, exactly. Mm. I'm still trying to figure out the one I hear at my house. Yeah, with the no battery in it? Yeah, it has no batteries, but it comes on every once in a while. It hasn't done that for a while. Huh. Probably will tonight. Every time we talk about it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I go... I go to the toy stores and stuff and try to figure out what would they what type of stuff would they like mm -hmm. baby dolls or what mm -hmm. you know building blocks i've got a, some building blocks that we use right haven't got them to do anything with them yet with letters on them and everything so mm -hmm. our next experiment is the ouija board I, I don't play with the Ouija board. Which I need to ask my mom about. But yeah. I did ask her about it. 
because I'm like, whose Ouija board is this? Because I thought she said she didn't know whose it was. So she's like, oh, it's mine. And I'm like, oh, so you played with a Ouija board? She's like, well, my cousin Pam got it for me. She's like, I'm pretty sure she had so-and-so buy it because they didn't know what it was. And so they bought it. And we used to play with it. And it told me that I was going to marry some, I don't remember who, what his name is, but She's like, and she goes, he's still alive, so I guess there's still time for that. <laughs> but, but um. Now, what what we're going to use with the Ouija board, we're going to set a camera up right, right next to the Ouija board, put the antenna in the middle, and see if it moves on its own. Yeah. Because certain places back then, they did the, the Ouija G-boards, boards and right. seances and they stuff. Did. So, I'm not going to sit there and play with it in a place. I'm just going to set it there and see if anything happens. Right. Yeah, exactly. What does she know about Ouija boards? Don't know. <laughs> That's the thing about your your grandpa's. We did find a lot of stuff good mm-hmm. for trigger objects. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like his German dictionary. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, if we run into some German, maybe mm-hmm. we can figure it out. Right. Exactly. And it was, it's an old, old German mm-hmm. dictionary. Mm-hmm. And let's see, what else did we find at Grandpa's that we use for trigger objects? I'm trying to think what's all in that box, because it's all still in the metal box that we mm-hmm. brought home. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because that's all your stuff, so it stays in that metal box, so mm-hmm. nothing happens to it. Right. And we got a World War II uniform, mm-hmm. which has, has worked in some places. Mm-hmm. And then I got my brother's uniform, a newer Army uniform. Mm-hmm. Then I got my dad's Army helmets from mm-hmm. back when it around Vietnam type mm-hmm. era so i've got that section mm-hmm. and it's like we just set things out depending on where we're going right and see what else do we got in our arsenal i mean that's mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> oh i got my flyer oh yeah the heat temp mm-hmm. I like using it every once in a while. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go through my boxes. Yeah. Then I got all my security cameras, which we haven't taken for a long time because it takes so long to set up and mm-hmm. tear down and then go through eight well, hours time, times eight cameras. Uh, the last time we tried to go through it, we couldn't get the shit to come up. No. But we recorded because we were going to sit down and do that and we couldn't get it to go. So I don't know. Well, I think what happened on that newer one, we didn't push offline. Mm. We didn't save it offline. Mm. You put, I think we pushed, like, if you were using the internet to oh. bring it up. So, because mm. there is a one over, when I was messing with it. Yeah. I'm still not used to that newer one. Yeah. I like I my older that. one. Yeah. Oh. But you lose the film after a while if you don't. Mm-hmm get it checked out soon enough. Right. Yeah. Because you only got so many hours on it and then it starts over and then you lose all that footage if you didn't get go through it. Right. Exactly. And let's see, we got we got floor vibrator thing, but Mm-hmm. Every little thing sets that, that off, off, so you can't. Oh my gosh, I know. It's way you too sneeze, sensitive. You it's going to go set, set it off. off. You look at it, it's going to go off. <laughs> uh, see. But you really don't have, and I, I got my digital um, camera and stuff that we use for film, taking pictures. Mm-hmm. But half the time I forget it, so we just take pictures off our phone. Yeah, I have my camcorder, but sometimes I forget to, uh, you know, take it yeah, out. We got two, three, three camcorders. Yeah. 
One takes tapes. <laughs> yeah, one takes is old fashioned. It takes a cassette tape. But it works good. I mean, it's just oh, it, it doesn't. It, it takes doesn't, great pictures and video and right. It's just it doesn't stay charged very long anymore, and it's just getting old. Yeah. Well, that's what we started with. Uh, I've had it for probably a good eighteen years. Like I said, that's what we started with was that Almost camera 19. and the recorder. Yep. I know. Can you believe it? It'll be ten years in April because. It was right before my birthday when we first went to Villisca. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I was, I it was right before my 30th birthday, and I'll be the big 4 0. So it's yeah. been 10, it'll be 10 years in April yeah. that we've been going you know, at it. Yep. And we just keep adding to my arsenal. Mm hmm. There's more stuff I'd like to buy, and I'm going, nope. Nope. I keep talking myself out of it. Nope. Don't need it. I know. There's we so... don't need all this stuff. Yeah. And, and so apps on phones. You got to be careful with your apps on your phone. Yes, that's true. A lot of it's just entertainment stuff. Right, exactly. I I like the Necrophonics at times. Mm -hmm. But I like the Necrophonics when we're uh, doing the S with the headphones uh -huh. and only list one person's listening because when you have a lot of people listening, everybody's coming up with different stuff. Mm -hmm. This way, only one person can hear, and if it don't come out clear, it's not a word. Yeah. Or you know how it gurgles at you like it's a growl or something. Mm -hmm. and, Ooh, that was scary. No, it's not. <laughs> right, yeah, I know. After you've listened to it so long, you know it's uh, sounds that mm -hmm. no, that's nothing. That's nothing. Correct. Just like the spirit box, you just excuse me. I just don't like the spirit box because of the gives me a headache. Mm -hmm. I can't do the SS method with the spirit box. I probably could if it was one of the older versions of the spirit box, not these new ones, because I can't get the hang of them. I I can't get the hang of them. Like I just can't like the new the red one i i like it but i don't like it because you can record it mm -hmm. on there yeah you can use it as a recorder by itself mm -hmm. but to get it to set where you want it to be set right it takes forever you can't find the right setting mm -hmm. uh yep no, it, yeah, I have a hard time with it yet. It's, I just need to mess with it more, but I really wish I didn't break my SB7, like, because that worked so well with that speaker. That was the best. I mean, why do they got to try to, excuse me, improve everything? I mean, that was the best working one by far. The very first one that came out. Yeah. And they just keep trying to add to them and stuff. And it's like, just go back to the old one. It works so great. I've got one just like yours. And mine don't work near as good as yours did. Yeah, mine was really good. I... And it's the same one. Mm hmm Didn't yours come with a different speaker, though? Yeah, it came with a little tiny, little, tiny Mine little came with speaker. this big-ass round one that worked really well. But I had to throw it after it said some weird, creepy thing. And... She got all spooked. Yep, got all spooked, and there was the end of that. <laughs> Oops. Eventually, I'll maybe replace it. There, There's equipment people like better than other right. people. Mm -hmm. It's, it's their your preference. preference and how they use it and mm -hmm. works better for them than another person. Right, exactly. But if you're just going to start out, mm -hmm. start out with a recorder. Yeah. A camera. Right. Basically, that's all you need. Exactly. Then you can work yourself up to like a video camera, maybe, or mm -hmm. to catch something. Uh, don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff right away. Yeah. Start out small. See if you're going to like it. See if you like sitting in the dark talking to yourself and nothing happening. Right. Yeah, exactly. You gotta have patience. <laughs> Which I have little of. 
But, <laughs> but just, I still managed to do this. But to start out, all you need is a recorder. If you got a phone with a camera on it, that works too. You don't mm-hmm. need to go out and spend mega money for a camera. Right. I always had my digital camera because we always went to race car uh, events at mm-hmm. I, Newton Speedway, so I had it. Mm-hmm. But other and it takes videos too, so mm-hmm. not very good at night, but yeah, or in the dark, but right. But you don't need a lot of stuff. Uh-uh. And like for trigger objects, I went to Dollar Tree and got a lot of mine. Mm-hmm. My checkerboard. Right. My I've used it in places. See if they're gonna move a checker, maybe or mm-hmm. dominoes. Dominoes. I've got dominoes. My Jenga. I stack up mm-hmm. like so they maybe would knock it down or. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. No. Yeah, some of the gadgets are nice and all these lights and stuff, but Mm -hmm. you really don't need a lot of it. Half the time we're cutting down my kit because I don't want to take all that, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I've got three construction boxes full of stuff that we've gathered over the time mm-hmm. a lot of it's not electronics or anything like that it's more mm-hmm. trigger objects and stuff mm-hmm. just like my hats I got different hats right for trigger objects mm-hmm. yep can't say some of them work some mm-hmm. of them don't mm-hmm Depending. And let's see, we've taken stuffed animals. Yeah. For the kids and stuff like that. I used to have those little, remember those alien things? I had a purple one and a green one. Mm-hmm. They were kind of squishy and you could like touch them and they'd light up and move and stuff. I wonder if I could bring those back. Because I always wanted to see if they'd go off. But I think somebody had been here and I'm tired of me taking up space in other places and bringing them back home. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you lock it up in my case, she'll never know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, we I've taken a fire truck, it has buttons on it. Oh, yeah, thinking uh-huh. maybe the kids at Ferrar are a little bit not, it's more of that age right. group, mm-hmm. that you know, era. Mm-hmm. But we haven't got it to go off yet either, no. uh-uh. just me pushing up. Yep. Yep. So you don't have to go out and buy a lot of expensive stuff. No, you don't. The reason I bought Etch a Sketch, well, if they can move things, mm-hmm. they can sure turn a white knob if you showed them. Right. This is how you do it. Just do whatever you want, and then you walk out of the room. You never mess with it again until you go back in and see if there's anything on it. You always make sure it's blank. Mm hmm. Like I said, we've gotten a T on it in one one place. Mm-hmm. Then we got an E in another place. Right. So, on the little one. Mm-hmm. And, oh, we got our cat and dog. Oh, yeah. Maverick and Pookum Kitty. Yep. They, they're they like a K2. If mm-hmm. something goes Running up and touches them thing. or anything, they'll light up and make noise. Mm-hmm. And we got talk, Talking Boo Buddy. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. We've had that go off several times where it says something's tickling them and stuff like that. Right. And we've had the cat and dog have both gone off. Mm-hmm. So the dog goes off a lot at Ferrar. Yeah. And the cat went off a lot at Cambry. Mm-hmm. And we did get the dog to go off a lot in Inez's room that one time. Yeah. On camera. But On we, camera. But when we were up there, we couldn't get it to happen. Right, yeah, but we could see it going off on the camera, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and, um, (coughs) oh, we got our REM pod, Mm -hmm. a cheaper version, but it does work. Work. Uh We've had it go off at the Cambry. Mm Mm-hmm. 
just got it, never knew if it was going to work, work or not, not. and yeah. then it wouldn't quit. Right. I'm going, well, we know it works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same way with the cat. We mm-hmm. never could get the cat to go off until mm-hmm. we went to Cambry. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I got my pendulum. Mm-hmm. We used it once in a while. Mm-hmm. One of them broke. I got it glued back together. Oh. The glue came off. Oh. Oh. Um, trying to think. All my I got all my crystals too. I carry my crystals. Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> I always forget mine. Uh, pretty much that is we always take a pen and paper so we write things down that we don't forget when we do go through our recorder Mm -hmm. so we can go back and check our notes okay this is the part and this is what's coming up Mm -hmm. so we try to try to keep notes but not Mm -hmm. always Mm -hmm. right I think that's about I think that's about it yeah, pretty much all. That's our arsenal. Yeah. So, but like I said, debunk. Yes, make sure you debunk everything. Because even with your app, the Necrophonics, mm-hmm. you still got to debunk. Right, exactly. Exactly. I think we'll wrap things up for tonight. Make sure you join us next week. We have Ben from Central Utah Paranormal. Um, He's going to be on. He'll be talking about the paranormal, and we'll be talking about UFOs and other weird things. So make sure you join us uh, that next Thursday, and everybody have a great night. Peace out.